In this next project, we'll be taking a basic floor plan and creating a 3D model from that. So it's going to be like the next few projects are related to uh, working with the floor plan. So you can actually view the to-do list. You can find it there or the modules or calendar. I'm going to actually use modules. Scroll all the way down to floor plans, 3D model floor plan. Just know that this uh, tutorial will be going kind of quickly, but you can feel free to stop, pause, whatever you want to do. Okay. Uh, in this assignment, you will download a floor plan below. So you click on this link. It's going to take you to a Google Drive folder. You'll double click on the floor plan there. It's a basic floor plan, but you're going to click download here. And it's going to download. Then you click close up there. Now close that Google uh, Drive folder. Now what you're going to do is actually you need to create a new tab. So you basically just want to go to Google. Make sure you were logged in. So you have to have your school provided uh, email address. If you need to, you actually can sign in there. Um, the first thing I want you to do is go to Drive. And I want you to click New and choose Folder. And I want you to title, uh, create a SketchUp folder. I'm not going to do that because I've already done it, but I'm going to click Cancel. But you would click Create, okay? Cancel. Now close that Drive folder. Now just go back to it, create another uh, Google Drive, uh, just a Google search here. Now you're going to click on this grid of dots. There's some people like to call it a waffle. So I'm not sure exactly where it's going to be, but it's on mine it's the very, very bottom. It's called SketchUp for Schools. Click on that. This is the online version of SketchUp, so it's going to run a little bit slower than actually the downloadable program version. But we're going to just sign in with Google, right? And we're going to use our school provider account. Okay, so these are the ones I've just done before, but this is actually the idea of the project that we're um, doing here. And I'm just going to show you that what it's going to look like. So I'm going to use my orbit tool, so I can move around here. It's just basically just the white here is a floor plan. I've created the 3D walls from that, and actually the window back here that I can see through. Okay, you can see through it uh, actually. Um, so that's the idea of what we're doing. Okay. So we're going to start with a creating new folder, a new project here. It's called Simple Template, which feed them inches. So it's got this little man right here. You're actually going to start with actually renaming this. So you're going to name it just the 3D. I'm sorry, 3D. So I'll save OK. Now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to actually save that in my Google Drive folder. That's why it's important that we create a different folder called SketchUp. So now it's actually wanting us to find a folder. So again, I have this one that's already created SketchUp. I'm going to click Select. It's going to save that now. I can just window this little guy and choose this uh, back case, uh, back base key. And now when I go to Scenes, I'm setting up the view. I'm going to go to my Scenes and click on that. And now I click on the top view. So I can, this is the X, Y, Z coordinates, but I'm going to change it to just just looking straight down, so I only see the X and Y coordinates. This is just like math. X and then Y coordinates, okay? Now you're going to go to the three little lines, choose Insert, choose From the Computer. Now we just downloaded the uh, basic floor plan. It's called Commons. If you're using a Chromebook, you might have to search for that, or you might be in Images or Download. I'm not sure exactly where it'll be. Click on Basic. Choose Open. And you're going to choose an image. Now you want to go from the orange, Origin, sorry. And just drag it out. Doesn't really matter what, what distance there. But we're going to use this first image that's 8 feet. Um, what you need to do is right click on that first and you click on uh, Explode. If you don't, it's going to have you problems there. So you want to make sure it has a hat pad, hatch pattern right there. So I'll click off that and, and then I'll click. Well, no, I click this actually. The tape measure tool is what I'm going to use first. So I'm going to scroll down. If you don't have a scroll wheel, um, it's going to be hard to actually zoom in and zoom out. I'm just scrolling the wheel on my mouse, like zoom in and scroll in, or zoom out as the other way. If you don't have one, if you're on a Chromebook or something like that, you might have to use the under this orbit tool. It says this eye cross, and that's your zoom tool. So just click and then drag up or drag down, and that's zooming it out. So you might have to use that if you don't have access to a scroll wheel. So I'm going to go back to my tape measure tool, and then I'm going to zoom in to this edge of this wall here where it says 8 feet. 
is what we're using. So click there, zooming out, zooming in. It's going to be the red line, so it can be straight here. I'm not sure where the red line there is. Okay. So right up there. Okay. And I click there once. It doesn't really matter what distance it is, but now at the area feed, it'll just say just enter eight and then like apostrophe. And that's the feet symbol. Then choose enter. And it says, like, do you want to resize the model? I'm going to choose yes. And it's going to resize the model, so it's make it a lot larger, so it's going to take you a while to zoom out. But now, if you actually go from this edge here, it's going to be close, because this is more of a, because we're just, uh, we're just tracing to play. Okay? So if I'm going back to this, uh, it should be about 8 feet. You know, the red line here. So 11 feet, 3. It's very close to 8 feet, okay? But now I'm just going to choose the escape key. Now what I'm going to do is actually use the rectangle tool. Rectangle. So I'm going to actually just trace the outline here. And again, I'm going faster on this tutorial, but feel free to pause or rewind or do whatever you need to do. So just click there once. Go to the top, up to this uh, top right corner. And you want to click there again. Now I'm just doing it again. I'm going from this corner back to the other corner. It's kind of blurry, so you have to get close. Okay. And I'm just going back down to this side here. Okay. Right about here. Okay. Now what we're going to do is actually get this uh, middle parts in there. So you want to go to the pencil tool. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go from this line. So it needs to be on the edge, but it needs to be very close to the edge. Of that wall here, so you need to be in the green line the whole way across. I'm gonna zoom in, and these be sorry on the green line that shows it's straight vertical right there. It's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be close. Okay, so now I'm gonna do that one more time go from the edge, go this needs to be in the green line uh, right about here. This is the green line. Okay, so I've got that. Now what I'm going to do is I go from, um, well I need to do this line, so this line is go from edge here to this one. Now I go from the edge here all the way across now to the edge. It's not, like I said, it's not perfect, but it's close. It's close for our purposes on this introduction thing. So on the edge, go across, it needs to be uh, the red line, this is horizontal. Green is vertical, so it needs to be right there on the edge of there. Okay, now we're actually doing this. Oh, this is the same thing. So we can actually go from here all the way across to this line here. Okay, then uh, the next thing I'm going to do is the here lines are all, you know, the same. So we're going to go from. Um, just the, it's having to be the midpoint, but that's fine. It doesn't have to be the midpoint. So I'm just going to go a little bit farther. I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit escape one time. Go from the edge here and go down here. It's fine if you put it the same length. Hit escape one more time. I go from this edge here. Then go all the way across to this edge. Okay. Now we want to do one more thing. As we've got most of the lines there, we're going to actually erase some lines, but we need to do one more. We need to do this line. So this is where the window is. So all the way across to here. Now do that again at the top here on the edge. So there. Okay. Now we're actually going to, we finish the lines, now we need to actually erase some lines. Now we're going to do the eraser tool. Now we're going to click on, we're going to leave this here because that's where the door goes. We're going to erase this line. In the middle here, we can erase the extensions, and it's in the middle line. Uh, so we can delete. This is not a doorway here; it's open, so it's not a doorway. Um, this line needs to be minimal; needs to be deleted here. Oh, I forgot one line there. Sorry about that. So I need to click on the pencil tool and put the line in there. So from the edge here. On the edge there, go back to the eraser tool, and I click in the middle. Oh, let's undo that. That's where the door is going to go. So I need to leave that there. Okay, 
So um, just so we can insert uh, the middle here. So that wall needs to be connected to this wall. So delete the line. There's a few of those. I need to erase this one here. And the one that, yeah, in the middle here. Delete that one. Okay. And then uh, one at the top here, I believe. Yes, there's two at the top here. One and then two. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is we click on the um, orbit tool that's up at the top here, and I'll move that down a little bit so I can go to 3D view. So this is X, Y, and the Z, the 3D view. So now we're going to actually use the push pull command, and just the push pull to the top here. Now what I'm going to do is actually just it's selecting different areas, but I'm going to select the wall. I'm going to select that, and it's tied in with my cursor. So just go up to some other uh, random dimension, let go of my mouse, choose eight feet and then enter and it goes that wall goes straight as 8 feet now what I'm doing is actually rotate around Whoop. all the way around okay now I can actually grab this other wall here do the push pull on the wall it's going up 8 feet enter and it's got that wall now I can zoom out uh, this wall I will go up to 3 feet so I'll go to 3 feet three feet enter oh I'm sorry I didn't put it in right so three this goes up I'm going to turn three you can see now this distance out here three and then uh, feet and then enter I don't know why it didn't work anyway try that one more time yeah follow my mouse go three feet and enter yeah okay there it is so my three feet enter now um, So now what I'm going to do is oh I mean uh, maybe I need to do that again. So just undo that. What I need to do is you should go up to eight feet. But it's important to have those two lines on the sides. Just go straight up, and I can choose eight feet. Enter. Sorry about that. I forgot that. So it's important to actually that section right there. That's where the window would go. So I need the two lines on the side. Okay. Now what we're going to do is actually just use the uh, orbit tool. Go around here. Oh, that's right. We need to delete that. So for some reason, that's, oh, that's that the line. We've got the line there. So I'm going to have to go back because it's important to do it the first time the same way. Okay. Let's go back to the top view again. Yeah. So I need to actually. Uh, I forgot a line in there. So, uh, pencil tool, put that line in there, line, close to the edge of there. Okay, now I can do the same thing again, just do it just like I did before. Uh, rotate a little bit so I can view the 3D push pull, get the wall, go to 8 feet, enter. Now I get the rotate tool, rotate around. The push pull again. This wall come up eight feet. Enter. Now I'll rotate around to the window here. Mm, to my right, so I can see that push pull one more time. That little wall right there goes up to eight feet. Enter. Okay. So I got that the way it was before. Now I just have that. If I can go to the or orbit tool again. See that now this actually this part is actually not there anymore. So this is where the door is. Um, this is where the door is right here. This this line is what would indicate the outside and inside of the door, and those lines are there too. But now I actually can go to the materials. And so the materials are down right here. At this it says materials here. So click on the materials. Um, and I'll click browse. Okay. So it's got a lot of different materials I can use here. So we're going to start with actually the carpet. Now we're actually going to grab this carpet here, click on this, and as the materials, and we're going to fill in there, fill in there, and uh, rotate a little bit so we can see the whole thing. And we're just going to leave this is carpet in there too. So we're going to click back on the carpet, and then fill in this line, goes underneath the carpet, and this line too. 
Okay. Um, let's look at the carpet there. I need to go back to uh, brick. So we can use this brick here. And that's the material. So we can click on this outside walls here. Up there. And then inside walls. Since this whole wall is brick, um, so it would be brick here too. Um, we can actually choose the top of that. And we can choose the top of this wall. That's fine. And that'll be brick. Um, let's zoom. Again, 3D is a little tricky sometimes. But we actually use those two walls. Need to be brick as well. So those inside, inside. Now choose the rotate tool. Rotate around, zoom in. So brick through there and there. One more time. And got the outside of this. The brick needs to go there. Okay. Oh, I need to brick here. I need to brick there. That's the wall there. That's the same wall. Um, get the inside of the wall. So this is actually this wall. So the inside of the wall and the outside of the wall are all brick. Okay. Um, oh, I missed one little section right there. So this is the inside of the wall is going to be uh, wood and um, wallpaper, but the outside wall is actually brick. So we're going to click brick here, choose that. This goes brick there, and this needs to be brick on the inside of that. Okay, that shows the brick wall. Uh, we actually do one more thing. Um, we need to actually make a window here. So what we're going to do is actually go from the top view here. If I rotate it around just a little bit, right there. So now I'm going to go with the pencil tool. I'm going to go from the middle point right here. It's at the blue dots, is midpoint. It's going to be the green line, the blue line, sorry. Blue line, so I'm going to go down two feet, enter. Now I'm going to go straight over to the edge there. It's on the green line. So click here. Now come back to the middle here. Now we go down three feet. So the top of your window is about like two feet from the top, but it's three feet wide. So we're going to use a three feet, enter. Now this one, I'm going to go straight to this side. She's on that. Okay. Now that I've got that, you know, so I've got the two points on the side. Now I can create that rectangle. I go to here and I go all the way over to here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is the push pull again. Oh, I need to actually erase some things. So you erase this middle line. And you can erase this line and this middle line. So now you have to push pull right here. And so it goes back to the back here. Okay. <clears throat> and so we can actually, um, I think we actually can click this. Um, yeah, we can actually push pull. So we actually need to use the materials here. And it needs to be a brick here, brick there, and the walls, the edge, edges of the window are brick as well. So brick, brick, and now I'll rotate around to get the other brick side. So the top of this, I'm just making it really small there. So we got the brick wall, okay? And so that's just the the wall, the window here, okay? Now what I'm going to do is actually use uh, minimum collapse this. Now I'm going to go to uh, Glass and mirrors, and now we can go to the window, and I'll make that see-through. So now I can see that that as now that is uh, see-through. Oh, I need to actually delete that. So let's um, let me roll that around. Yeah, since I went too far, actually. So what I need to do is I need to go to this push pull again. This one here, and I go straight back to this edge. See that dot dotted line. Go back to on face and it's going to be there. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is go back to brick and make this top and this brick to rotate it around so I can see that brick. Now I'll collapse this window. This is a window here. It needs to be see there. So you can actually see it's through now. Okay. Now I'll click on the um, 
zoom out here and I actually kind of now click carpet and fabrics and go back to I think the very very bottom it says like this wallpaper so that's the wallpaper I'm going to make on these walls here these materials these walls um yeah the edges of walls need to be um wallpaper as well I'm going to zoom back around uh, rotate around here so I can see all the other walls so again this uh, wallpaper so rotate around here uh, wallpaper here 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 and then I rotate one more time uh, to the other side Oh, I don't know why I didn't Let's do this. I need you to do this glass here. And I need to actually use the wallpaper. It needs to go here. Okay, there we go. So I've got the wallpaper. Now the last thing we're going to do is actually, you can see that we've created a 3D model from our floor plan. Now we need to actually do one more thing is actually click on the... Uh, let's see the materials. Oh, the 3D warehouse, it looks like three little box stacked. Okay, so what I'm going to do is actually tap in D O O R, click on front door. So you can find this door, D uh, door by Pedro G. So I've got this uh, door there. Uh, it's fine, let's just put it right there. It's fine, so I'm going to rotate around. So that door is put down. It's a little bit low. That's fine. We can actually we're going to move that around. So I'll click on um, this is move. So we're going to move that door uh, here, and we're going to move that. Uh, oh, we need to undo that. Escape. Now what I do is I need to actually select that move tool, and I want to move it from that corner. Mm, I too far. There. Now what I'm going to do now is actually go straight over to this little actually this corner here. Those line up. Okay, so that green dot. So what I'm going to do now is rotate that door to make the right size. Now I'm going to click on this rotate tool. Now what I'm going to do is actually make sure that uh, compass is at the green dot. I'm going to rotate that around and this should be over. Oh, okay. Uh, click on the green dot. Now I need to click on this dot up here. So that the actual starting. Now I rotate around and that as this green dot over here. So what I need to do now is actually this door is a little bit too narrow. I need to make it wider. So I'll click on the Move my right click on the bottom here to the scale. What I'm going to do is actually just um, go to that scale button there. Then I'll click on uh, this. Uh, oh, let's see. Let's undo that. I'm sure. The scaling is always kind of weird, um, so maybe take me a second here. I guess this is actually the the uh, online version, so it's a little bit slow. I was trying to go fast, but um, Jesus, okay, so. No, that's not what I'm doing here. Every time I do that scale, it's kind of weird. So that's that's weird. It's not going right the way. 
Oh, I think what I need to do is actually use the scale and go into this door here. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Now I need to go to um, the edge there. Okay. So that gives the door. I went from the from the side there. I was going from the bottom, but it should be the edge there. Okay. And that's the door, the correct width. Well, we can leave that the way it is there with that little top thing because that's actually a lot trickier to do. So um, what you want to do now is you want to click on the Save button here. And it saves it as a SketchUp model. And so what you're going to do uh, to turn this in, it's, it's saving still because it takes a minute. Okay, it's safe. So what you're going to do now is you're going to click on this uh, Google, I'm sorry, the folder here. It needs to be the drive. Oh, it actually can download. I'm sorry. So click on the three little dots after it's saved. And then we'll click download here. And uh, it's fine. We can use like a Susan 21. That's fine. So I'll click OK. It's going to put it into our downloads folder, okay? But it's going to be a 3D SketchUp version, okay? So now we're going to go back to the floor plan. Uh, this is the canvas here. So click on Submit. And now it's actually got a file. I can choose a file here. So choose File. And I go to my 3D SketchUp. And I choose that one. And I click OK or Open. And then I click Submit Assignment, okay? And it says Confetti, like, congratulations, you turned it in. Okay? So that finishes this assignment, okay? Thanks for watching.